The issue for many is the sign on the bathroom door, but in the Shorewood schools, the issue really is about more than just which bathroom transgender students can use. It really has a lot more to do with dealing with transgender students in all, and that's the reason Shorewood's approach shows up in the federal guidelines today. 16-year-old transgender student Caleb Weinhardt says the issue of which bathroom to use simply isn't a concern here at Shorewood High School. I'm allowed to use the bathroom that I prefer to use, and it's really nice that um, the school is um, really supportive of that. They refer to it as a bathroom issue. For us, it's not an issue. Principal Tim Kenny says he's pleased that the Obama administration recognized what is known here as the Shorewood Guidelines and its directive to schools about equity for transgender students, citing examples that go beyond bathroom use to dress codes and harassment policies. I'm very, very proud of our school district for being out in front of this. One Wisconsin lawmaker recently sponsored a bill that would ban transgender people from using certain bathrooms, similar to a controversial North Carolina law that led to economic boycotts and Representative Jesse Kramer says now the federal government has gone too far. I think more states need to stand up and uh, do what North Carolina did. Stand up to the federal government, stand up to the bullying and, uh, and, and do our job. But Caleb believes the directive from Washington sends a powerful positive message. So it's really great to know that, that there are people that are supportive and that are working really hard to make the environment for trans people a lot more safe and inclusive. Now, Representative Kramer's proposal would have allowed for transgender people to use unisex bathrooms with full partitions. That bill died in the legislature, but he tells me today that he plans to reintroduce it next year. Patrick. And